Hello again, Livia friends. I'm Alicia. I'm a certified personal trainer and lifestyle consultant at Livia. Thank you all for joining me for another Shape Up workout. Now this workout will be really focusing on the lower body. So really working those larger muscle groups today and burning some calories, which we all want. Before beginning this workout or any workout, please make sure that you are first cleared by your doctor, especially if you have any limitations, that's very important. And listen to your body throughout the whole workout. Now, if I uh, don't take a break and you need a break, please pause the video and take that break. That's perfectly fine. Same goes with water breaks. Really listen to your body. Uh, our strength is all different and our endurance is all different, so make sure that you're listening to your body and breathing throughout all the exercises. Um, we will be using the mat today, so have somewhere comfortable that you can kneel on. We'll do one exercise with the mat. I also have a pair of dumbbells here. Now, you don't have to use any dumbbells at all. You can use uh, cans of soup or water bottles to add some resistance or no weights at all today. I'll also be showing an exercise that um, just a way to increase some resistance. I'll be using this band. These bands are really um, affordable, especially on Amazon. They come um, with different strengths. Um, so this is a medium strength, but there's a light, medium, and heavy. Uh, I also have my water bottle with me, so water is very important. Hydration during your workout, before your workout, and after your workout. So I have that near me too. Um, so we'll begin our workout with a warm up, and then when we're finished, we'll do a cool down. So let's get started here. So we're just gonna pull our knees to our chest and alternate, just warming up the body here. Perfect. Feel that stretch, you can pull it closer to your chest here. All right, let's do two more. Perfect. Let's reach to the sky and come down, stretching out the backs of the legs here. Relaxing the head, the neck. Now, you don't have to touch the ground, it's just really wherever you feel that stretch and kind of hold it there here. Relax the neck. Maybe come up, reach to the ceiling, down. Really feeling the stretch in the backs of the legs. The hamstring muscle, which is the back of the legs here. All right, great. Come up, reach to the sky. Woo! <laughs> Watch the balance. <laughs> Reach to the sky, legs are apart, and we're just coming down, relaxing our neck, waiting until we feel that stretch. Maybe we're uh, lunging to one side and then the other, really stretching out the inner leg muscles here. Active stretching, Some movement here in our stretch. Maybe we come up. Down again. We can sway back and forth here. Keeping in this position, let's just squat down. Our toes are slightly pointed outward. Coming down. Telling our muscles we're about to work. All right, let's reach to one side, then the other side. Let's do this a couple more times. This should feel really good, especially if you have a desk job and sitting for the majority of the time. Oh yes. Okay, let's do some twists here. Twisting the torso here. All 
We're going to do a couple more if you need. I really like that one. Do some arm movements here. Big circles. Warming up the body. Backwards. Little circles. Forward. Backwards. Perfect. Shake out those legs. Get ready. And we rotate our neck side to side. All right. Let's jog in place here. Full jog. Again, just warming up the body. Nothing extreme yet. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. Make sure your body is really warmed up here. So I want to show you the first exercise. So we're here. Our feet are slightly pointed outwards, and what we're going to do is we're touching the ground. We're taking this arm, squatting to touch the ground. You don't have to touch the ground. You can just slightly bend in here, and we're alternating. We're starting here, so kind of like a jumping jack. So we're jumping out, touch, in, out, in, Perfect, so we're kind of twisting. I want you to go to you. Feel a stretch here, but don't go too far. Really listen to your body. If the jumping part is too much, stay in this position and squat down, twist, down, twist. Okay. All right, so that's the first exercise. So we're gonna do 10 here. Remember, we're alternating. So one, two. All right, are we ready? Let's do this. Six, seven, eight, nine, Perfect. All right, shake out those legs here. Moving on to the next exercise. Take a breather. <laughs> All right. So our feet are shoulder width apart here. And what we're doing is we're doing a narrow squat. So we're squatting and up. We're gonna do 10 of these, again, listen to your body. If you need to do less reps, that's fine. More reps to make it higher intensity. Also, to make it a little more challenging, squat even lower, okay? If you can only go here, that is perfectly fine. If you have trouble with balance and just want that, that little cushion here, make sure that you have a chair right behind you. So when you're in this squat, you can easily just plop down if you need. So we're gonna do 10 down squats. Okay, so 10. And then, this is the fun part here. So on our last squat, so we're at 10, we're gonna keep this position here in the squatting position. And we're just gonna take one foot out, one foot out, and alternate for 10. Okay, really working the glute muscles and legs. This is where the bands come in handy here. So you can slip this on for this exercise to increase resistance. So you're here. After we do our regular 10 narrow squats, you can come out, 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 out. I think I'll do it with a band because I'm feeling adventurous, but you certainly don't have to. All right, let's get started with narrow squats for 10. You guys got this, ready? One, two, three, 
four, go lower, five, six, nice job, nine, last one, keep here, hold, one, two, three, four, five, go lower, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, Woo. take a breather, get a drink of water, that was good, you guys should be feeling it, Whew, nice job. All right, remember that first exercise, we're gonna go back to that. We're gonna go back to the jumping and alternating. Take a small breather and then go into the next exercise we just did, okay? So remember to breathe through the entire workout. Take a longer break if you need. Get your water. Listen to your body. All right, so let's go into those um, jumping jacks, I like to call them. <laughs> but they're not real jumping jacks, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, you got it. Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Woo! Take a breather. So we're gonna go right into those narrow squats. All right. Okay, remember for 10, I'm gonna grab my resistance band. Slip it on here. All right, you guys, ready? For 10, make sure you're breathing. One, two, core is tight. Don't let that core get loose. Strong muscles here. Last one. Hold. One, two. Woo! Good job, you guys. All right. Take a breather. You guys got this, you're so strong. All right, I'm grabbing my dumbbells for the next exercise here. Now again, you don't have to use any dumbbells. So I'm holding them here, so they can't be too heavy. You gotta find um, the right pounds here, so if it's too heavy and your wrists are dipping like this, that's Probably not a good idea, so you might want to lower the weight. So, I think it helps to just rest the back of the weight on your shoulder, just for some help here, unless you want to use all of your shoulder muscles holding those up. We're just adding resistance when we're squatting down. So that's what we're gonna do. Our feet are shoulder width apart, slightly toward, uh, slightly pointed towards out the out corner there. <laughs> I'm working out so hard I can't even talk. Um, all right, so we're squatting and we're thrusting up. So we're using our shoulder muscles here. So a little bit of upper body today, but mostly lower. So squat, thrusting up. Be careful with this move, especially if you have neck problems. So again, Squat up. All right, so that's the first exercise. Um, let me show you the other one right after. We're gonna take a slight break. So we're gonna squat and do the thrust. We're gonna do that for 10. And then the next one is super fun. So what we're doing is we're coming back into a lunge. We have one dumbbell here, or no dumbbells, or a water bottle, whatever you're using. We're coming back into a lunge, and when we lunge down, remember our knee is not going past our toes, we gotta be careful with that to prevent injury. We're twisting, and then we're jumping 
into the other twist. So jumping and twist. Now, if the jump part is too challenging, you can always come back to starting position. So we're here, twist, and we're just stepping and stepping back instead of jumping. Now, um, be careful with this move, especially the jumping. Just listen to your body again. If lunges, if you need to um, hold on to something, have a chair here and just lunge and lunge. Okay, if the twist is too challenging. All right, so that's the second exercise. All right, so remember, we're going to the thrust. Let's do 10 here. Squat up, two, three, four, Perfect. Take a breather. Get one dumbbell. I'm gonna move my mat a little bit here, just so you see me a little bit better. Flat surface is always good for this one. All right. Remember, twisting to the opposite side. So we're lunging here, lunging with the right leg, and we'll twist to the left. Ready? Total of 10. Six, seven, eight, last one. Woo! Get our heart rate going here. Make you're breathing. Grab your water. All right, you guys, we're going back to the, the thrust. All right. For 10. Ready? Two more. Nice job. You guys are so strong. Ready? For 10, three, four, five. I'm gonna do the step version. Nice job. Put down your weight here. Shake out your legs. I'm pulling my cat back. You guys got that. It's a challenging move. All right. Grabbing my weights here. All right. So this exercise here takes some coordination. So I'm grabbing only one weight here, holding it to my chest. And what I'm doing is I'm coming back, knee is on my mat. This other knee is going to come back, bringing that first leg back, and then this leg up. So we're using our lower abs when we pull up our knee like this. Come back, other knee is on the ground, left knee up. Oh, it's all right. The, the knee that comes up to your chest is going to go right back down. And then it's knee up, chest. Knee. Alternating. Now, it's kind of a challenging move. Um, a lot of coordination, but we're going to do 10 total of that. And then the next exercise, 
We're coming down to our knees. And what we're doing is we're just leaning back. Okay, if you can see here, my knees are shoulder width apart and I'm using my, the fronts of my legs, the quadricep muscles, to lean back. My back is straight, so I'm not leaning back like this, not like this, just in one plane here and coming back and coming back. So all of the weight is going in to the quads right here. To make this a little more challenging, you can hold weight and lean back. Okay, now if you have knee issues, I would first make sure that you're cleared by your doctor to do any sorts of exercises that involve going down on your knees. All right, so starting with the right leg on the mat, let's do a total of 10. That first exercise I showed you. So leg, uh, knee is on the ground, other knee up, knee to chest, kneeling. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Nice job. Take a breather, grab your water. All right, here, we're just leaning back to 10. Be careful with this one. One, two, three, Four, five strong legs you have. Yes. Last one. All right. your core is always tight. All right, let's do this. Holding it to your chest here. Right leg down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good job, you guys. Get some water. Nice job with those. All right. Last little bit here. So we're standing. Feet are touching together. We're slightly leaning forward here. And what we're doing is we're just taking our leg. Going to the side, 
Remember, hold on to something. After that, we're going straight back. Okay? Just small little ones. You don't have to go way up here. Just little ones. So we're going to do 10, 10, and then straight into the other leg. 10, 10. Really working the glute muscles and the backs of the legs here. So let's do it. And for this one, you know, sometimes we'll accidentally lean forward with the side um, leg lifts. So just make sure that your shoulders are back with this one. Um, when we're doing this, this is okay to be slightly forward here. All right, ready? 10, 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Almost done here. Breathe. Legs are um, shoulder width apart. We're doing a wide stance here, and we're coming down into a squat, a single squat. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo, nice job. We are finished, you guys. And you're ready for the cool down. Shake out your legs here. Woo. You worked them out hard. Okay, go ahead and turn over your ankle. Hands here. Stretching out the tops of the legs. Gently pulling. Don't lift your balance. <laughs> Ooh, nice job. Other side. I don't know about you, but I am sweaty. <laughs> Good thing. We worked out hard. Other leg. Active stretching here. Pull your knee to your chest. Nice job. Breathe. Tell your body you are cooling down. Reach up to the ceiling. Down. Lying down slowly. So you feel that stretch, relax. Sway back and forth here. Coming up. Feet are together. Down. Hold us just for a moment here. deeper stretch, please feel free to do so. Thank you all for joining me for another great Shape Up workout. Um, if you have any questions at all about this workout, muscle groups, anything fitness related, please direct them to fitness at Livia.com. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Thank you guys. See you next time. Great job.